So runway ML's update looks incredible. It does. But I'd say there's one problem for me, and I'll probably say a lot of brands, is the outputs are very random. And when it's random, it gets very time consuming and expensive when you're trying to stick to a brand. So in this video, what I want to break down is a solution I made to make high quality on brand assets every single time. So I'm going to break this down in three very easy to follow steps. The first thing we're going to do is create a knowledge base about our brand. Then we're going to create a prompt template that has access to that knowledge base. Then we're going to use the prompts that the prompt template makes to create high quality assets. Let's start. So the first thing we've got to do is something that I really can't do for you is describe our brand in text format. Let me give you an example. I think for most brands, just having the colors and the style would be enough to keep it pretty consistent. So for example, I put the colors should always be pink and a purple gradient and the style should always be a flat illustration. So, so this is kind of better for more corporate stuff. And as you can see, I sort of start with the prompt saying these are some guidelines on how you should understand to create prompts for, uh, for my brand. And this is what you should include in the prompt. What this actually does is when the AI is creating prompts for runway ML, it has this knowledge base and it references what I want from the prompts. So I've got the colors and the style, but what I could also add is something like the composition, or I could add, always include a penguin or a bird, you know? So it's like as much stuff you want it to include, you can, but I wouldn't say make it overly complex because then it's going to be very limiting. And when you put that into the image model, if it has too many things, it might get a little bit confused but feel free to experiment with it and let me know what you come up with. So the second part would be the formatting. So as you know, if you're doing content for a business, it might be on TikTok, it might be on Instagram, it might be on YouTube, and the ratios of them are all different. And because I think the results of this process work a lot better if I include mid journey in the middle of this process, so I go prompt, mid journey to create the images and then take the images and put them through runway ml create much better results i'm gonna add something in my knowledge base where it understands how to prompt mid journey to change to these different formats and of course you can do do it all in runway ml you don't have to uh, add the mid journey step but i will say you will have better results for example as you see here the standard for format for mid journey is one by one. So if it's for Instagram, we're gonna put nothing at the end. And then this is the prompt to have it in vertical format. This is TikTok, so 19 by uh, by 16, and then vice versa for, uh, for YouTube. So don't worry, if you're not following me so far, I'm just gonna give you an example to break it down a little bit clearer. So let's say I'm working on something for my YouTube channel, um, and it's about work-life balance. So the two, prompts I'm going to give the AI is that the, the topic is work life and the platform is YouTube. So if I input this, it's going to output a flat illustration of people at the office with purple and pink gradient HD in the YouTube format. So as you see, it takes what we said about the style, it add, takes work life and it says people at the office and it takes the colors from, from the top and then it does the format. So what my plan is, now the AI understands how to convert a topic and a platform into a really good prompt like this in the style of my brand, I can turn it into a template. So I can just keep reusing it, re reusing it. So daily, if I'm creating like 10 different prompts for a video, all I need to do is change the topic and um, add the platform. And I, need, and I don't need to go through some sort of thing of having a notes app and copying and pasting a prompt. Now we can go to step two. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to download the knowledge base, download it as a PDF. We're going to go to textcortex.com. We're going to log in. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our customizations. We're going to, go to knowledge bases. We're going to create a knowledge base. Brand ID V3. V3 because I've been testing this. <laughs> Um, then we're going to add, um, add a source. We're going to upload the source that we just made. Cool. Now that's all there. So now with this, I'm going to show you how the templates work. So we're going to go down to templates. We are going to, we'll probably create a new one, but I've been testing um, this out. So I'm going to show you how the one that I made worked. 
So basically what I put for the name is uh, runway ML on brand prompt generator. The description is this prompt gives you on brand videos each time uh, you use, use runway ML. Yeah, so, and this is like the more technical part. So this stuff doesn't matter as much. This is more so you can find it and other pe people can find your, your prompt. So what I've said is take the topic in square brackets and basically what the square brackets do is this is something that you change each time. If I have two square brackets things, topic and platform, the thing I'm gonna change each time I use the prompt is topic and platform. And if I wanted to add one more thing, uh, take the topic, the platform um, and the tone. So I want the prompt to be humorous, uh, educational, stuff like, like that. I'll just add another square bracket. So take the in brackets topic and platform from my brand ID prompting PDF. So this is the knowledge base that, uh, that we uploaded and create a prompt. So that's it. So this is on public. Cool. Now, we, um, for this step, if you just want to use my prompt template, you're going to search in runway ML. Cool. Cool. Pro, pro, uh, probably bookmark it if you want to use it uh, multiple times and then use this template. So as you see, instead of writing out, you've only got the two options to change the topic and the platform. And then in this part here with knowledge bases, you need to make sure you have the knowledge base we just made selected or it's just not going to work because it's referencing a file that it doesn't have if we don't upload it so here okay now we can go and fill in our form so the topic is going to be about money then the platform is going to be tiktok so as you see it does exactly what we want it to a flat illustration of hands exchanging cash coins and credit card transactions in scenery field with pink and purple gradients then it adds to the other format so now what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this prompt i'm going to use it so again you can put this straight into runway ml because they've got an option to add text but again i'm going to use mid journey because i think i get better results so as you see here this is really on brand to 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 what we asked it's kind of in that corporate style and yeah it's in the colorway so what i do is i just choose my favorite probably i'm going to go with this one number three i actually think 90 of the time i feel like the third picture on mid journey has the best results but maybe but maybe that's just me um i'm gonna copy and paste it i'm gonna save it now i'm gonna go to runway ml so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the text slash video to video um, we're going to upload the image we we made. Yeah, and as you can see here, you can change the motion. Personally, I quite like to increase it. Um, then the camera motion. We are going to go for a zoom in uh, about five. Save. We're going to generate this and then while this is rendering i'm just going to get another prompt just to show you these do get consistent results every time like i promised at the start i'm going to go again so what i'm going to go with i'm going to go with cats i'm going to go with youtube yep as you can see, very consistent each time. I'm going to copy and paste this into mid journey. Yep. And as you can see, it understood it's for the YouTube for a format. So it renders it uh, horizontal. And I like number three. I like number three. So I'm going to upscale uh, scale this. see look 
really good really re really good and this would be perfect for like a video essay like explainer like anything you really want from it and for this one i'm actually going to try the motion brush tool which i think is really interesting so what i want is i just want the cats to be moving so i'm going to go here Yeah, yeah, gonna paint them and maybe the birds as well and what I want to do is I want them to move closer so what I want to do is I want to highlight the parts that I want to move and I want to move the cats, the birds, and then down here I can control which kind of directions I want them to move. So pro uh, proximity is kind of like moving them closer, then horizontal and vertical, I don't really need to explain that. So I want them to move much cl closer and slightly to the right. I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna generate it. Yeah, so, so as you can see here, it works perfectly. So the cats are moving cl closer, the birds are moving, but the background's staying the same. It's incredible. I'm really excited to see the future of content creation and just work in general integrated with AI. And if you want to get ahead of this kind of stuff and become a prompt engineer, we're actually hosting some competitions for who can build the best templates. The details to sign up for that will be in the description as well. And I'd highly recommend it for anyone that wants to get started as a prompt engineer. But with all that out of the way, I've been Roman from Text Cortex. Goodbye.